Hi Ben, hi Ashley, this is Stephanie with Josh Osborne's team. Uh, I wanted to shoot you this video to um, kind of just give you an insider look at what we're doing here. And this is one of the um, part of the steps we use to land a client. So just wanted to kind of show you um, what this screencast is and how it, uh, we kind of break things down for a business owner. And it will also you know, educate you on kind of where you're sitting um, in the search engines and what it would take to beat out your top competitors. So uh, in this video, I'm going to go over three things, which is going to be backlinking, content, and citations. So if we come over here to Google and we search for deck staining Omaha, we always see the paid ads at the top. Then we have the map pack and below that is the organic section. So a main ranking factor here in this area is going to be through backlinking and all a backlink is is just one website linking to another site. Um, I did the same thing for Painters Omaha because I saw you offered painting. Um, so same thing here. We can check out like the top guy here. So we'll go ahead and plug them into um, this tool that we use. And we see here that they have 37 referring domains or other websites giving them 161 backlinks. When we plug you guys in, we see you have nine referring domains, giving you 26 backlinks. So what would need to happen here if you wanted to beat out that top guy would be to pretty much go get about 200 to 250 backlinks pointing back to your website because you don't want to just match him, you want to pass him up. And so one way that uh, you guys could do that would be to pretty much go through all the links and see which sites you can get a link from. Uh, when it comes to backlinking, not all links are created equal. There are spammy ones and there are trustworthy ones. Um, obviously, we want the trustworthy ones and uh, we want to make sure that they are like powerful and trustworthy in Google's eyes. So um, taking a look at these metrics, like ideally these are going to be double digits and pretty close to each other. So like 20 and 20 would be really good or 30 and 30 would be real good. Um, and one other thing I wanted to show you was the keywords and kind of um, the search volume going on. So we can take a look at the five keywords that you're being found for, which is deck, stain, deck staining Omaha, which is good. There's a hundred searches a month on average for that keyword. We see you're sitting in the seventh position. Um, so here's Aaron, then we have Scott, then we have Yelp, then we have Quality, then Wyman, then these guys. Home Advisor, Schaefer, and then you are here um, at the bottom of the first page. So all you really need is that little push to the top um, and doing these tips or if you're working with an SEO company, having them do them would help um, push you to this top position. So um, uh, deck, staining, deck staining Lincoln NE is searched about 50 times a month. You're in the 14th, so about the second page. Um, power washing, that is 50 times a month, you're in the 39th position, so probably about the 4th to 5th page for that one. And then we have some interior painting, pretty small search there, but you're in the 71st, um, one for Omaha. So what I wanted to show you was the, the bigger keywords for painting if you wanted to be found for them. Um, Painter Omaha and E, there's 150 searches a month for that keyword. Um, house painting Omaha 80, painters Omaha 250 searches a month. Um, don't think you do drywall repair. Um, you're already being found for deck staining. So um, you see there's a pretty good amount of searches for painters in your area. So that would be a great way to increase your business would be to get found for um, the two big ones, which is the 250 and the 150. And even this 80 here would be good as well. So. Um, how you would go about doing that is um, getting the right type of content on your site and then um, getting those backlinks. So coming back to your site, in regards to content, I'm referring to all of the words on your website. In Google's eyes, content is king, so the more you have, the better. Uh, we always recommend about 1,500 to 2,000 words of keyword-rich content on this homepage and then lots of content on your back pages as well. So. I would do probably about 750 words on each of these back pages with the um, right keywords. And um, another thing, let me see if I can save this as. So save the image as, we'll see what this is saved as. Because when Google is crawling a site, they're not actually seeing images, they're reading what's behind them. So we see here, it's just a bunch of random letters and numbers. So that doesn't tell Google anything. So you'd want to get the images optimized as well. 
So jumping back over here to Google. So citations come to play here in the map pack and all a citation is is just a business name, address, and phone number listed in different directories throughout the internet. It's one of the main ranking factors uh, for the map pack. So um, you'd want to get your Google My Business listing optimized, meaning get a really great description on there, get your photos on there, um, make new posts, just be active in it, and then go get those um, 350 citations. Sorry, I accidentally clicked this guy's site. Um, but yeah, if we scroll down here, we can see that you are here, you know, probably in like the eighth or so position. So that little um, push to the top would be really good. So just get those citations um, and that'll help rank here. So just to do a little recap for you, uh, you want to get relevant, trustworthy backlinks pointing back at your site to show Google you're the authority in the in the industry and you deserve to be at the top of that home page or that first page. You want to get lots and lots of content added to your website, probably about 1,500 to 2,000 words of keyword rich content on the home page and about 750 on the back pages. And of course, getting those um, photos optimized and then you want to get your Google My Business listing optimized with that description and the photos and uh, make sure you're collecting five-star reviews from all your happy customers and then uh, get the citations added so you can rank here. All right, guys, that is all I have for you. I hope you found this um, informative and I hope it gave you some good insight to kind of what we're doing and how we're helping business owners. Um, if you guys had any questions, um, we can go over those on our call tonight. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.